Hello, and welcome back to some more Minecraft. We are currently in the mob spawner. We are going to fix, finish this up. So what you want to do is take your wood, and I'd say make about eight signs I think should be good enough. And make sure you got your pickaxe ready because we're going to be doing a lot of digging. Now you wanna you wanna crouch here. Because here you're going to find that and all that is, is being deposited. So what you want to do is mine one down from each side. So about here. And make sure you're constantly crouching because you don't you do not want to fall. Especially you have twenty nine levels. I'm used to a certain um speed from my pickaxe, so when it doesn't do it properly I, I turn away and it's like, oh, it's not mine. Anyways, grab those. Okay. What am I doing? I didn't follow my own directions. I came up kind of with this one on my own because when I watch Stampy's videos, I'm generally not all that paying attention because I generally have him on in the background when I'm falling asleep because I'm cool like that. Uh, so I kind of just kind of listen and I got the general idea of it. And what we're going to do here is going to get rid of this ladder. And we're gonna. Okay. So, what do you think we're gonna do here? Remember, I told you about signs and water. What you want to do now is take those signs you have and place them so they're at the edge here and they don't have to say anything. One sec. Forget this side. Although I guess it doesn't matter. It just looks better this way. Okay. I was going to say, I was like, wait a second. Something's off here. Okay. After this, I'm going to fall down and get a bunch of buckets. Oh, man. We're not done. I, I miscalculated the amount of signs you would need. Okay. Oh no! <sighs> okay, need more wood. Let's pick up all our shedding materials. There's a creeper! Hello, buddy! Hello! I love you! Okay. Creeper Carl in my soup! D&D and lots of soup! I got, I'm getting a creeper stuffy for Easter and I'm super excited because he has the sweetest thing ever. His name is Creeper Carl and I love him. And I picked them out so yeah I kind of know my gifts before and it kind of ruins the surprise but whatever. I don't get him until Easter. He's just hiding out. He's like, I miss you, Vanessa. You need to be my friend. And I'm like, I know I miss you too, Creeper Carl. But wait, you must wait. You must wait. So now, guys, we need to make a ton of buckets. And I'm also going to eat something. Food. So chicken. Mm, good. Okay. Boop. Okay. What's in here? Anything in here? Iron. Hello. Thank you. Gold. Get in there. I don't need you. One, exactly one diamond. I love that. Okay. Um, How many buckets? I'm going to make five. So we already have one. So that would be three, four. And they stack like this. Actually, hell, heck no. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make... The eight...
ran out of iron pretty quickly, didn't we? It's okay, we still have 41. So now what you want to do is take those buckets and fill them all full of water, because you're, you're going to need it. Climbing up the mountain, climbing, climbing, climbing. And sorry, this is a rather boring video, especially for those who played Minecraft and know how to make mob spawners. But see so what I do now is I do this. And notice how the water doesn't doesn't go off. You want it to make a stream to the edge like that. You want the stream to be there. But you do not want to be. Oh no, one sec. I didn't actually make signs for that one. And don't worry if you make a mistake. If you take the water source block, it goes, it comes right off. So, no biggie. Boop. Hello, creepers. Skellingtons. Oh, frame rate. Oh god. It's it's like having like a like a like a stroke in Minecraft. Okay, we don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. So now just keep doing this. Okay, we're almost done. Looks like we didn't need so many buckets, but you know, better to be safe than sorry. I don't like having to come back up. And now, guess what everybody? We are done with the mob spawner. Now what you gotta do is get rid of all these torches. Make it super, super dark in here. Mobs spawn, and it depends on the mob, but I've noticed that uh, on lots of them, they spawn in levels of eight or less. So, um, you just want it to be pitch dark in here. Now, a torch is 14 light level. And a, uh, where is it? Where's, where's the ladder? It's right there. And a, the sun is 15, lava is 15, and glowstone is 15, which is the max. So, there you go. And what I'm going to do here is fill this in because it's ugly. And now, yes, you need your mom spawners to be close to your house. Why? Because well, it looks like a flipping water tower. <laughs> okay. Because mobs don't actually spawn unless you're close to them. And this seems a little stupid to a nerd pole to get rid of a nerd pole, but it's kind of necessary. Now let's scope out we're going to build the cafe and I'll build the outline and let me see. I've been recording for about 10 minutes I'd say. I actually didn't set the timer this time. So go till about 12. How about? Sorry. Checking my Skype because I haven't actually just want to know if it was something important. But it isn't. Well it's from Jess so it's always important but... And I do have random torches lying around, mostly because I want my stuff to grow. So that's why I do that. So look at that. So, um, at night they should start spawning and falling down those streams. Hopefully. I'm really hoping. Now, for the cafe. This is a nice big open area. The only issue is that it is just really charred up. Savannah Hills are just nasty. So we're going to put away all our cobble. Take out as much dirt as we can carry and what is in here and start filling that in. And that's a huge part of Minecraft is filling in the areas you want to you want to build at. So 
So I've been watching Squid play Skyrim, and I'm thinking I might do the same thing as play Skyrim. And for those that love Skyrim, I know my nephews love Skyrim. And honestly, I don't, I don't really like my nephews playing it since they're only 10 and 9, but I'd rather them play Skyrim than other horrible games. Because Skyrim's not all that bad. Okay. So if you want me to play Skyrim, say I in the comments. Ah! Hey, that, that doesn't look good. Okay. What a wonderfully lame episode this is. We finish a wonderful mob spawner. And then now you have to watch me fill this in. And I would do it off camera, but I'm so paranoid that I'll like screw up the flipping recording again and it would just be bad so so we're gonna go till about here fill this whole thing in I think this should be fine right here so mark this off now I wonder what materials to make it out of I could continue to do the acacia wood or I could do a different wood I could actually go on a hunt for dark, dark oak Dark oak is one of my favorite types of wood to build with. It's so beautiful. Um, which would take me pretty far away from home, actually. So, And I have explored this world when I was on my hunt for horses, but I was actually in creative mode when I did that. So, And yes, I usually do when you guys aren't around when I need to explore. I'll go in creative mode. I know, I'm bad, but easier. It's faster, too. No, well, I guess it's okay. But I don't, like, do anything in it, so I don't count it as cheating because I'm not giving myself anything. I'm just exploring. And all I was looking at was planes. So. It's like, where are the horses? Oh, I found, like, a little pack. <sighs> there was a seed that I got when I was exploring seeds. Of, uh, like, you spawned exactly next to a huge ho ho horde herd of horses. I've been playing too much World of Warcraft. <sighs> Anyways, um, that was wonderful. I mean, they were all different colors, and of course, I didn't keep that world, but it's just a. So, where was I gonna go? I was gonna go here. This is so much filling in. Okay. So excited to build this cafe! I love I love projects. I love like oh okay I can I know I can do this. So I'm gonna make it into the type of cafe I would want with fish tanks all over the place. Cause my dream is to own my own restaurant. So I love that I was given this uh, thing to make. Thank you, Grace. You're wonderful. And instead of uh, we're going to have goldfish in here. Because I love goldfish. Goldfish are my favorite things in the entire planet. Uh, I have a beautiful goldfish pond in the back of me right now. And they're just the cutest little fatties on the planet. So, I am very, very, I'm, I'm sure they're very, very excited for this to be done. Because that means they get recognition. So what we're going to call this is Valentine's Cafe. Because my... The, the main fish in the tank right now. Her name is Valentine. And she's sitting there looking at me with her giant little win. Okay. So, Valentine Cafe. So, we will make a big heart out of pink wool. And you know what's great is I can make something underneath this, too. I don't have to keep it, you know. Like, since we're filling it in so far, I can actually make something underneath. So. I don't understand why sometimes I'm able to do it and other times I'm not. No, frame rate. Okay.
And I might also make games. The only issue with making games in this world is I'm the only one who can technically play them, unless I open it up to LAN. And I don't have a lot of close friends that actually play Minecraft, which is a huge pity. I think everybody should play Minecraft. It's a wonderful game, and it, it like, exercises your brain. Okay. Guys, it's getting dark out. I'm getting scared. One thing my, my Minecraft character is, she is very afraid of the dark. See, she's getting, she's getting all shaky. She's getting all like, she's getting all shaky. So we're, we're, we're going to go to sleep now. And the reason, you know, we didn't go to sleep during the mouse honor was she was so focused on building. She had to get that thing done. Okay, everybody, we're back. It's sunny. It's nice. It's beautiful. Okay, almost done here. I'm going to do this, and then I will fill it in later. Because this is irritating. So, I've been watching so many, like, well, actually, I've just been watching uh, an older show with my dad. It's from the 50s, and I think those in, who like older te television should check it out. It's on MeTV. And I think it is, I think that's a cable television channel. So if you don't have cable, then I don't, I think you're going to have to miss out. But it's called Perry Mason. And it's awesome. It's a really great kind of crime show. But it's not like CSI where there's like a body or anything. You don't actually see. You see like, the, you know, it's, it's, it's a good show. <laughs> I would say that, I mean, it's, you kids can watch it. You just won't understand a lot of it. So I would... I would say that it's mostly for adults due to the fact that it's just aimed at adults, but kids can watch it. It is family friendly. Woo! They just don't make television like that anymore. Makes me sad. I need food. Guys, I'm running out of food. Get out of here. And I'm also running out of dirt. Okay, we're almost done, guys. I promise. Uh, or not. <sighs> I'm sure most of you have already closed out your... Like, oh, this is stupid. Why is she doing this? Why is she doing this on camera? Why? Well, I'm paranoid. Turn out I'm gonna shut it off and not turn it back on and lose all that footage like I have been. Besides, I'm, I'm feeling chatty. I, I'm feeling really, really chatty. So let's go find some food. Let's go in search of food. In search of food! Steak. Chicken. Raw beef. Let's, let's cook this raw beef. Now, uh, a lot of people don't really know this, but in Minecraft, you have a food meter, which you can see. But you also have a thing called saturation, which you can't see, and it's not exactly measured. Saturation is how full you are and how fast you'll lose your food meter. And now there are some foods that really are, like, the best, and they really heal saturation, and others don't. And that's why even when you are full, like, one bar away, you want to eat something high in saturation, like steak which is one of the best foods. Chicken is actually not as good, even though it heals the same amount as steak does, because it doesn't heal as much saturation. Okay, we are right above my lake, so we don't want to dig up anymore. No, I'm losing all my tools. It's ridiculous. Only 43. Hello, horsey, hello. Let's name my horses. That's a nice break. This one is Henry. Henry the Stallion. This one is Olive. And this one is Pinto Paint. Pinto Paint. Pinto Paint. $100 on Pinto Paint. Ready, ready, ready. Never actually been to a horse race. Now look at that. That actually looks pretty decent. It'll look a lot better when there's grass on it. But Okay, it's... 
No, I, I literally only need one. So just give me one. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> I'm tired, guys. I have no idea why. Okay. We have three minutes left. Let's see how much I can dig in three minutes. Ready, steady, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six. I'm done. <laughs> Who knew that dirt would actually be, like, necessary? So taken for granted. Nobody builds dirt houses. Nobody really builds with dirt. Oh, crap. That, that, that can't, that, that, that's not, okay. Okay, so does this lead to the outside? It does, so I gotta, can't dig there anymore. Oh, no. I might not be able to dig here for that much longer. I could dig into the into the field and stuff, but like the hills, because there's so many hills. I don't know if I'll need like all these, like a ton of stacks at the moment. Okay, so we have a minute left together. And I want to say my in my outro on top of this beautiful thing we've created together. As long as the stupid water doesn't trap me again. Okay. And I need to fill in that creeper hole. So anyways, guys. As we stare out under the testificate village. I want to say thank you very much for watching. Thanks for the awesome uh, idea to build a cafe. I'm really excited for that. And thanks for watching me build the mob spawner, which hasn't actually spawned any mobs. Yay. <laughs> but anyways, I love you guys. See you later.